hello everyone so in today's video we will see how we can create a led night rider scenario or system or circuit using arduino right so there is nothing much actually technically but still if you want to have some you know uh, coding experience so if you if you want to lose your fear in coding you have to write some lines of coding right so it will be a lot of uh, uh, I mean a bit lengthy a code but same things repeating but a lot of uh, I mean the code amount is a little lengthier than what you have seen up to now okay that's fine so it's not a big deal at all you might have sometimes done it since we know the blink this is not going to be a hard part and it's going to be a piece of cake and we can see a demo in the Tinkercad I will show you so but you will be doing it in with with your Arduino in real life okay so first you will understand what a night rider circuit is night rider circuit is none other than a few LEDs there and <coughs> the switching on of the LED that means the elimination of the LED is going to run between each and every LED that means first LED will on initially then first will go off and second will be on okay then second will go off at the same time third will be on then fourth will go off sorry third will go off fourth will be on and finally fourth will go off and fifth, fifth will be on and when fifth goes off again first LED will be on that means it will repeat so it's it will look like the blinking or the or the light will be moving from LED 1 to 5 in a rotation it will look like so that is what a night rider circuit is since we have only played with one or two LEDs up to now, we will go for a five LEDs today. So I will take these pins, pin number seven for first LED. I will connect the uh, first LED to the pin number seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You can choose any pin you want. That's totally yours, and you have to edit in the coding according to that. Okay. So I just want to show you uh, how to write a little lengthier code. Okay. So first, as we study. We will know the flow right we will uh, just write an algorithm or time related related flow so that it will be, it will be very easy to us to code okay so we will write a t is equal to zero but we want to happen we want the first led to be on okay and the rest of the led should be what off okay so you may think okay i should say led one on so no yes and i don't uh, write anything you can leave it the way you that way but it is not a good thing because <coughs> as on is a state off is also a state so it is always better when you are mentioning a particular led is on and other leds are off it is better to mention that this led should be off at this moment so that you can avoid errors even there is something happened by mistake later in the code still if you are particularly mentioning this LED should be off at that moment that will be preventing the error from uh, you know uh, further developing or that will be helping you to uh, you know helping the functionality to uh, not break that will be helping the functionality to not to break so let's say you're not saying anything about the other LED since they are off but in the later in the code somebody sending the code and it's somewhere in the bottom they are switching on the LEDs so what will happen those LEDs will be on when the code is coming to the first line but if you are if you are separately mentioning okay while this is on LED 2 should be off then no matter whoever changing the code anywhere this line when the code is coming to this line LED should, 2 should be 2 will be off while LED 1 is on that means it is like a validation right you should state or in other words you should remember if you are even switching off an LED if you want an LED to be off you have to mention that as well you cannot be ignorance okay so at t is equal to zero you know first led should be on and the other all the led should be off so you should write led three off yes or no so short in short there right uh, led four off led five off this is at t is equal to zero then we have to take one second gap time delay in the particular state and at t is equal to 1 we have to switch on the next led while switching off the first led 
so i will say like this led one to save the time i will say led one off okay we will say led 2 to 5 i'm sorry i'm sorry that's my mistake led 2 on led 3 to 5 off gotcha you see right again right so at t is equal to 2 So again, we have a sec one second gap. So I will write it one s. Okay. So at t is equal to two, what should happen? Uh, I will write like uh, LED one. That's unavoidable. There. LED one to two. What is this? Two off, one and two. Three zone. LED three zone. Why is this happening? Where is my cursor? I'm sorry, guys. I don't know actually. Tap, tap. Okay. LED four to five off. Is that good? Yes. Like guys, at T is equal to three. LED one to three off. That means one, two, three. All the three LEDs are off. LED four is going going to be on. And LED five will be off. Okay, am I correct? I forgot something. We have to mention it. Delay. Just one second. Delay. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, fine. Okay, so am I correct? LED one on, two on, three on, T zero, T one, T two, T three. Yes, fine. At T is equal to five, so we will have one second delay again. <coughs> T is equal to five. We know LED one to four off, and only LED five should be. So this is the flow. You see, this only is going from first LED, second LED, third LED, fourth LED, and fifth LED. And we shouldn't forget. After this also, we should have one second gap, time delay, <coughs> because in this state also, LED uh, we we have to keep the LED five on for one second. Before again going to the LED one on. Okay, the problem you can see now if you don't mention these LEDs to be off. Okay, if after the first iteration finished, what will be the state? LED one five should be on. So this, since the next iteration is starting, if the off scenarios are not mentioned, LED one will be on while LED five also will be on at the same state. But since we are explicitly saying here LED five is off, when the LED one is becoming on. This on state of the LED five also will go off, so the functionality will be very very good. That means the functionality will be working. Otherwise, you will you will break the functionality, right? You will make a mess. Hope you understand that, right? So since we have uh, you know seen this uh, flow, in the next video we will have a look how we can convert it into code, and we will do a small simulation. And while I am doing it in the simulation environment, you will be doing it. <coughs> In the real world with your Arduino's and LEDs. So, guys, I will catch you up in the next video.